Yo, what's going on guys? BP Custom Knives out here in the shop. We got a TS Prof Cadet Pro right here that we're gonna unbox for you. Um, we're gonna see what's in the package and do some, I guess, uh, testing with it. Um, I'll tell you guys what I think about it. And uh, my initial impression, I guess you can say, we'll sharpen a knife and um, just see what it's all about. Let's jump right into it and get this thing unboxed and see what it's all about. All right guys. Here we go. So we got the TS Prof Cadet Pro right here. And then I also bought an extra clamp. This clamp is made for full flat grinds. So we'll get to that later. For now, let's open up this thing. Super excited. I've been waiting all day for us to get this thing open and check it out. All right, what do we got here? Looks like we have some instructions that are in um, Russian. What does this say? Привет, как дела? Что ты сказал, сука? No, I'm just kidding. Let's get rid of these. <clears throat> and now, what do we got? I think these are the sharpening stones. So it comes in 150. 220, 400, 600, and 1,000 grit. Uh, we'll see how these perform. I might add on a couple more grits. I think a 1,000 grit finish on an edge is a really good working edge, um, but we might possibly want to take up some of our knives to a mirror polish, and um, you know, just because they're nice to look at. But uh, yeah, I like the packaging for these stones. They're nice. Next up, we got our clamps here. Nice clamps. Everything is fully machined. These are aluminum, I believe. And um, yeah, so far the build quality looks really nice. Really liking the way that looks. And this is the uh, rotating assembly. So. This lever you turn to adjust the angle up and down. We'll get to that once we assemble this thing. But uh, same thing, um, just as I expected from TS Prof, looks and feels very quality. Yes, I really like that. Wow, I'm excited. All right, let's move on. Okay, so this is where the rod goes and this is like the stone thickness compensator. Mm, very nice, very nice. Buena. My name is Borat. We got some rods over here. Stone holder. So this is the base. And since I already watched other videos on this, I know that you just pull this back and push and it clicks into place. And that feels rock solid. So let's quickly assemble this part. Awesome, don't you love when things just go smoothly? It's awesome. Let's put the box where it belongs on the floor. Brush off all the styrofoam and let's assemble this bad boy. We got our base and this mechanism right here should just go on. Let me see. I think I think you have to open open this lever here. And this should should Go on, how does this go on? I don't know. I don't know how this goes on. It appears that it would just, oh wait. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We got it. Oh, that's nice, very nice. Okay. So, you move this 
Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. You can move this, you turn this, and it moves the angle up or down. And then I believe you can go, you can pull this up and that locks it so it can't move. And I can tell you right now, everything about this just feels solid. It feels very, very tight. Tolerance is, it's very tight. All right, that's awesome. Okay, let's install our clamps. You know, first, let's install this thing. This is the rod holder. And this just, let's loosen that up. It just goes in there like that. So they call this a thickness compensator. So different, um, different stones have different thicknesses. You know, you got strops, stones, all different types of stones. And the idea is that you can just um, use the thickness compensator to, I guess, adjust your angle so that when you use different stones, as long as you're using the thickness compensator, um, the angle will stay consistent no matter what thickness stone you use. So that is a pretty cool thing right now. We'll leave that all the way at the bottom and tighten that bad boy up. And we will install the clamps. So of course we want the Allen wrench part on top. We'll just unscrew this all the way. and install it. Repeat the process. Oops. Make sure the Allen wrench socket is on the top, easily accessible. No, I already know that we're gonna be doing pocket knives. So let's go ahead and adjust these as close as possible to the center, because we're working with small knives. And let's see how this bad boy works. So this is the lever right here you use to flip sides very nice rotation feels very smooth and then you can just lock that in just like that very nice very very nice now this is our stone holder this just goes in this hole, just like that. Next up, we have this thing, which I believe goes right here, I wanna say. Ooh, I don't wanna break it. So this is called a park feature. Yeah, so let me get a little closer for you guys. We got those little forks right there and that just goes right there and that holds the rod um, up. So it's not, it's not just, you know, dangling over here on the ground all willy nilly. We don't want that. So very smart TS prof, you engineers over there. And um, that just sits off to the side very nicely. And then last but not least is a uh, O-ring and a stopper. 
So the O-ring goes on, and then this stopper thing goes on. Oh, darn it. All right, I'll just put that right there. Cool. So basically, you can't pull the rod out. Good to go. Almost there, almost there. Now, I'm going to sharpen a knife. So let's go ahead and get this clamped. I hope this is entertaining for you guys. I know I'm having fun, so drop a comment. Let me know if, let me know if I'm being boring. Let me know if this is entertaining or if I suck. And uh, if you think I could be doing better, why don't you why don't you do me a favor and give me some constructive criticism? Because that's what a true friend would do. All right. So we're going to use the Sharpie method. So if you don't know what I'm doing here, I'm basically um, marking the edge so I can match the, uh, sorry, I can't multitask. So I can match the angle of the bevel with the sharpener. So let's start off with the 150. I don't even know how to put the stones in this thing. I think you just, um, I think you just put that dovetail in there and pull it back and, oh. Ooh, they make it easy, don't they? Wow, that's so nice. It just works. Let's make sure our stone is centered on both sides. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks good. Now let's zoom in one more time. That edge there. Sorry guys, I know, I suck. Now, if I make a pass, ooh, that is, that is spicy. Okay, so I'm hitting that edge, the very edge right there. So we need to go shallower. So let's raise that up a little bit. More shallow. more shallow and I think that looks good okay so I'm gonna put my hand see here I want to get a good angle for you guys put my hand here to get some stability and we're going to start sharpening a little play but that's because I didn't lock everything down there we go oh ooh, much better oh it even sounds different damn I'm gonna fast forward and go through all the stones and show you guys the end uh, the ending product on the edge so Let's speed this thing up. Here we go.
So that's what the edge looks like at a thousand grit. It's a good working edge. It's not a mere polish by any means. But uh, let's, uh, let's see what we can do to some paper. I can already tell you that it feels screaming sharp. Yeah, that just bites right in, not even at the edge. No effort. That is extremely, extremely sharp. Yeah, no question about it. It's extremely sharp. And yeah, that edge does look very nice. Super happy. So let's wrap up this video. This has taken way too long. Mostly because I lag and I procrastinate. Just what happens. So. <clears throat> what do I think about the sharpener? I think it's built very well. I think it's a pleasure to use. I think it looks beautiful. And my first impressions, yeah, I really like it. Very pleased with it. This is the way I'm going to be sharpening all of my custom knives that I make because I want every single knife to come out of my shop razor sharp. <clears throat> And, um, yeah, sharpening this knife took around 15 minutes. And I would imagine that my knives, um, once I get the hang of this, I can probably get them done quicker. Even though my knives will not have an initial edge on it and will be setting the initial edge with the TS Prof. Uh, reason being why I think it'll be quicker is because my edges will be less than 10 thousandths of an inch before we sharpen. So we'll only need to remove a little bit of material to apex the edge. And with this 150 grit stone here, I think that can be achieved fairly quickly. Now, um, after I get some time and some hours behind this thing, I'll do a full review on it. This was just my initial impressions and uh, getting this thing set up. I am very happy with it. Um, like I said, I got this other uh, clamp over here for full flat grinds and we will open that up and I will um, show that in a later video, probably along with my review. So that pretty much wraps it up for tonight, guys. Um, I know this video took a while. I hope you guys made it to the end, and I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at this beauty. Thank you, TS Prof. You guys are awesome people. And um, by the way, if you guys want one of these things, I do have an affiliate link that will help me out a little bit. I'll get some commission if you go ahead and follow that link and purchase one through that link down in the description that would be awesome i greatly appreciate it and um, i'm starting to ramble so let's call it good right here and um, that's my unboxing and initial impressions of the ts prof i really like it and uh yeah that's pretty much it guys thank you bp custom knives signing out and peace